subscribe before you close your eyes. For today's video, I will be talking a bit more about Archie and Winnie. I had a, a request to um, tell you guys a little bit more about them, so I thought this would be kind of fun. Uh, super fond of filming, so we'll do the best we can, huh? He's a good girl. They're pretty sleepy right now. They've been playing a long time today out in the sun, and they're sleepy now, so it's a little sleepy spaniel. short in my head. Um, and Archie, of course, we weren't expecting to get two. We just were thinking we were going to get one dog. But they obviously were meant together, meant to be together when we, when we went to see her. So we, of course, are so lucky to have gotten Archie. Archimedes is his full name, and it is from the movie um, Sword in the Stone. That's my husband's favorite movie, and there's an owl in that movie, good boy, named Archimedes. It's Merlin's owl. That's my husband's favorite Disney movie, so he picked Archie's name, and I picked Winnie's name. actually Cavalier King Charles Spaniel mixed with Cocker Spaniel. They are three quarters Cocker Spaniel and one quarter Cavalier King Charles. So um, mixing them is supposed to help with some of the, the health problems that the purebreds have. For example, the the Cavalier King Charles Spaniel has a lot of heart issues. Um, mitral valve disease is one of the main issues they have, and heart murmurs. Um, when he does have a grade one heart murmur, and then Cocker Spaniel has a lot of skin issues. They get um, skin infections pretty easily, so mixing them is supposed to help both breeds have less medical problems. But unfortunately, poor Winnie still got still got some heart problems to deal with. She's doing good though. She doesn't need any medication yet. And, um, her murmur's been at the same level it's been since they detected it several years ago, so she's doing really well. Um, and Archie he doesn't have any problems. He's he's like a brick. He's just uh, going along fine. Um, if you're wondering what that is on Winnie's head, that little bump, that is called a sebaceous adenoma, and it's just a see right there. It's a um, benign bump. I know somebody's gonna ask what that is. So this breed, especially cocker spaniel, is really uh, prone to getting those. They're, they're just lumps. They're really not, um, they don't affect them. They bother
bother us more than they bother the dogs, according to the vet. So, um, they're just, you know, little skin lumps like humans can get to. So, um, I've always been really interested in the Cavalier King Charles breed because of, like I said, my friend growing up that had one. But, um, when I was living in London, I learned a little bit more about them. They were, this, this breed was created by, obviously, King Charles. He bred, um, I think it was a English spaniel with a toy, another kind of toy spaniel, to create the Cavalier King Charles spaniel breed. And um, this color that Archie and Winnie are, the, the red with the white, that color is called Blenheim, after Blenheim Palace, where a lot of the breeding was done. And um, there was actually a law passed a long time ago in England because of um, King Charles requesting it. Spaniels with a full blaze. This white part is called a blaze. Any of them that have the blaze going up their forehead without any breaks, they have to be allowed into the House of Parliament. And I don't know if that is still a law or if they've changed it by now. But when I went there, I think I was there in 2012, it was still a law which I thought was really cool. You see Archie has the blaze as well, all the way up his head. But, um, oh, you sleepy baby girl. I thought that was pretty cool that they had that law. I'm sure it's not something they have to deal with often. Who's going to try to bring their dog into Parliament these days? But I definitely thought that was pretty cool. Okay, let me get, um, let me get some blueberries. We'll see if we can interest them in these. You want blueberry? Oh, good girl. <laughs> good girl, you want blueberry, bud? Oh, boy. Is that yummy? Okay, blueberry. Oh, good babies. I know you. personalities. Um, Archie. Hi, bud. <laughs> he is super intense. Like, he's always at level 1,000. He, um, doesn't like to be held very much. He will sit there, like, especially at the end of the night for, like, a few minutes in your lap. But mostly he wants to be, like, playing and running around. First thing he does when he goes outside is, like, a full perimeter check barking at the top of his lungs. Um, he loves to chase animals, unfortunately, um, like snakes, bugs, birds, rabbits. And he's actually very good at catching them, unfortunately. Um, he can even catch like birds out of the air, like when they swoop down, he'll just jump. So his nickname is the Bobasaurus Rex. He's definitely like an explorer. He loves to adventure and be pretty crazy in general. <laughs> um, Winnie, on the other hand, is like your classic Velcro dog. She wants to be on your lap every moment. And she wants all the attention all the time. And she loves to snuggle. She doesn't, she plays with toys a little bit, but not anything as much as her brother Archie is constantly playing with toys. Um, they are both very loyal. They, they really just want to be where we are. <laughs> Look at his lip, he's all, his lip's all stuck. <laughs> um, they really want to be where we're at. Whoa, sleepy boy. 
So, for example, one time when I was out, I was bringing groceries in from the car, in and out, in and out, at our other house, and I hadn't realized he had went outside. And so, I closed the door, and it was probably 20 minutes till I realized he wasn't in the house. I was putting groceries away. And I went out and looked on the front porch, and he's just sitting there. Staring up at me, wagging his tail. So, yeah, neither of them want to be anywhere other than where we are. They're always trying to stay right next to us. We're so lucky they don't like to run off. My dog growing up, Jenna, she loved to go on grand adventures if she got out of the house. also love uh, pineapple, watermelon, cucumbers. Yeah, these are good, huh? <laughs> He's intently staring at the blueberries. I brought some of their toys up to show you. So this is Winnie's favorite. It's called a boggle. It's, uh, it's like a little piggy and it's got a ball inside rolls around. Um, she loves this one. She likes to chase things. Um, <laughs> she is really good at playing fetch. She'll bring it back to you, but Archie does not understand at all. He has no concept of we're doing that at all. Um, here, Arch, look. Look, look. So this duck is Archie's favorite. It's a, it's a little ducky and he's got wings. And he loves to play with this duck. Good boy. It's definitely an undertaking, 
especially getting two at once. Um, everything obviously is twice as expensive because you're you're doing it twice. And then potty training, you guys, was absolutely dreadful. Um, apparently, it's notoriously difficult to potty train two dogs at once. We didn't really know that, but it was a nightmare because one would pee, the other one would smell it and pee. So. So this is Bunny. <laughs> this is one of their favorite toys. And she's got the crinkly ears. Archie's right here looking at her now. See? Um, she's been through a lot. Archie and Winnie like to fight over this one. They both love Bunny. So this is like your average view of Archie and Winnie. This is how they look 90% of the time. <laughs> Sleeping in a pile of toys that they've just played with for five minutes. So. of you wanted to know how we got Archie and Winnie and um we actually we just went to look we just went to look because we've been saving for like three years um before we got married and we knew we wanted to get dogs very soon after getting married and um we so we went to look thinking some kind of wait list and just see what the most recent litter looked like. There he goes with his frog legs. Um, but we got there and it was just Archie and Winnie left. And I fell in love, of course. And so we thought, oh, maybe we can get one. just one because Archie had his whole body wrapped up in a donut around Winnie. She was just buried in the center of his body in a little donut. And um, I was like, oh my gosh, there's like no way they can be separated. It's It would just be awful. <laughs> so I'm looking at my husband with the puppy eyes and the dogs are looking at him with the puppy eyes. We weren't married yet, actually. We were, we were about three weeks from being married. But um, <laughs> I'm looking at him, and, and then this other person is in there, looking around at the dogs, and she's kind of interested in Winnie. And so I'm, I'm getting nervous now, and I'm like really looking at him, and you know, we're talking about <laughs> all the possibilities. <laughs> Because we still hadn't moved into our house yet. Um, it was going to be a couple weeks till we could move into the house. So there was a lot going on. But basically, <laughs> I all of a sudden, uh, I could tell. 
popped because she hadn't decided yet. So they actually um, gave us both and it was the best thing we ever did. Yeah, it was the best, 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 best thing, huh, buddy? 